Oh, shalom, Rastafari. Senbet, salam. Salam tana, teina yisterling. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is Wendem Yadon. This is Brother Yadon. Ras Yadinos Tefari in a name. This is Ras Iadonis Tefari of the Line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. And this is um this is for the Sabbath of uh the first of um December uh twenty twelve. The Sabbath of the first of December twenty twelve. That means that um there are um one to about three more sabbaths and the third sabbath from this sabbath in other words after this so in other words this would be the fourth so we have um on the third sabbath right which would be almost like the third day if you think the third sabbath day after this it will be um, December 21st, 2012. And now there's a lot of speculation on that, as well as there's a lot of information that really points to something, um, very unique. You know, some people say, well, it's just a celestial phenomena. You understand something that's happening in the heavens, but as above, so below. But now what's the real interpretation of, um, December 21st? That's basically what everyone who's been interested in the subject matter is seeking to find out. Now, what do we need to, um, some say, well, well what, what do we need to do? What, 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 what should we do? Well, where should we be? You understand? Or uh, how should we prepare? The first thing we need to prepare and be always prepared. You understand? Be always ready. You know, like to say Semper Fi or Semper Fi Dallas. In other words, be always hula uh, um, you know, zigju, you understand, always prepared. So how do we prepare? We need to prepare first in our spirit. You understand, our spirit needs to be, pre be prepared in the Holy Spirit. Then, therefore, our soul, you understand, our soul, our psychical, our, our feeling, thoughts, uh, affection, desires, uh, emotion, and will, the self, in other words, would be prepared. Then, by default and axiomatically, you understand, we can better prepare on the phi cycle level, on, on the physical level. See, a lot of folks are just trying to be prepared physically. You understand? But the more they hear of wars and rumors of wars, the more they hear of the, of, of, of the imaginations of evil ever increasing. This is the key significant sign, as it says, um, um, in the scriptures and as uh, the Moshiach Yeshua, as 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 Christos Yesus, as Gitach and as the Bain Ha Elohim, the Son of God has already has already spoken and said that in the um, last days or the last days of the Gentile world dominion, the last days of the so called um, apostate or counterfeit church age, as it was in the beginning. Right. So shall it be in the end as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the son of man. So shall it be in these days and times. So we're passing through what they call the dark rift. Right. The dark rift. Right. Some say it's a it's it's, it's an area of 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 heaven and, and, and space where where it's the density. Right. The density of the gravity. You're right. Is is extra. You understand? So ones are going to feel it one way or another. You understand? Even if there's no outward signs, you understand, you know, like earthquakes and 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 and, 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 and um, tectonics changing on that very day. Because some folks say, well, uh, uh, nothing's going to happen that day. That's just um, globalist uh, Illuminati. No, that's them using something that man and humanity and most right are totally ignorant of you know so it's easy for the world powers and the globalists to use this particular um um truth and, and to twist it you know what i mean remember satan and the evildoers are not really creators they are wreck creators so they're about wreck creation the word says destroy those who pollute the earth who destroy the earth and i think that's significant right there but we need to prepare our our spirit 
our soul and our body. You know, and how do we prepare that? We prepare that by, first of all, by hearing and receiving the truth and having a love of the truth. Because you could listen to a lot of truth and, and a lot of facts. You know, but if you don't have a love of the truth, if you take pleasure in unrighteousness, if you are unregenerated, right? That means not born again. If you haven't, if you haven't thought differently, you're just thinking the same way you've always been thinking, and the way you think is according to the world. So you're in the world and you're of the world. Well, then you're damned. Then you you stay damned. You stay effed, as we would say. And and there's not much we can really say beyond that. That's why it says to be. Um, you know, diligent in season and out of season to preach the word, you understand, to proclaim the truth. All right. So this Sabbath right here, I think it's a key. This is like this is like a, if we was doing a countdown from from um, a countdown and then to that day, almost like a count up. You know what I'm saying? You know, a count down to that day. So we have this Sabbath. Right. And then we have three more Sabbath. And it's interesting because. This Sabbath, right? Of course, the Sabbath begins on the evening of the Friday, right? Now, this Sabbath itself is 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 is, is on the first. This is the thing that's that's interesting. December first. That means that if you count from the first seven days, we count to the eve. You know what I'm saying? And December twenty first itself is a uh, is a Friday, and that's the eve, and it's a Shabbat day. It's a Sabbath, Sabbath day, a Sabbath day. So the real question is, well, how will you be spending <laughs> or, or conserving? Right? That people say, how are you going to spend the Sabbath? No, how are you going to conserve the Sabbath? So you know the language, words, sound, and power. How are you going to save it? You understand? Or how are you going to spend it? How are you going to how are you going to be spending the Sabbath? Or how are you going to be preserving the Sabbath? And I have wanted to call for, um, or at least remind ones about the daily Psalms. You know the reading of the daily psalms from the um, from the the Hebrew Ethiopic or the Ethiopian Hebrew order. So many of you know about the daily psalms. So you're familiar with the daily psalms. Um, you can go to our website and and download you know the centerage or the chart of the daily psalms. And hopefully we'll have an opportunity to go through that. I also want to do a live kind of vid on the first. Or my, perhaps I'll do it sometime this week, y'all yeah, willing. But let's just go through, um, get, get an overview of of um, this uh, this uh, Sabbath, um, the homework, in other words. I hope all of y'all have done your homework. You know, what's in the work in your home and in your heads and in your hearts. They said, where... Uh, where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Some people say, well, the home is where the heart is. Have you ever really considered, well, where is your heart? You understand? In other words, where do you put value? What do you treasure? What is really most important to you? You know? So now, this this uh, Sabbath um, is um, uh, uh, va vayate. Vayetze, right? Vayetze in the Hebrew. Now, um, <clears throat> let's let us uh, let us do this right here, right? Let us do this. Uh, is she? Is she? All right, here we go, right here. The Mets off and the Mets off. Caduce from Orita Zefitret, and here's the verse. Now, this uh, Torah portion, um, it constitutes. Let's go over the basics right here, and like we said, you can download the PDF of um, the Torah portion, Volume One, Book One, uh, Bereishit, the Hebrew Book of Genesis, Torah portion, Volume One, the introduction and the compilation by by um, yours truly by N A. Uh, Aras Iodonis to Farai. Um, so uh, those who have it can follow along and you on the Wikipedia, but they updated it and everything like that. And this is probably the best version for for starting out. You understand for those of us starting out because it helps to give us an overview. The other one is more you have to be it's, it's like a little higher grade. So some might be able to use that, the one that's on the Internet now. But it was actually around the last uh 
the fall festival just preceded before the new year, the Hebrew and Ethiopic new year, the um, Luni Solar, the Solar uh, Lunar New Year. And we discussed that previously. So anyway, we had uh, Vayate, which actually is um, Vayate or Wet uh, Ito, Bamarinya, right? Vayate, that's the Hebrew for and he left or Bamarinya and he came out. And it's the first word in the Parsha, in this portion. And this is the seventh weekly Torah portion, right, in our annual Judeo-Christian, uh, because we are uh, Meshahawian, unlike um, certain of the other uh, Jews. But there are many of the Hebrews or the Jews who are becoming um, or who have accepted the Moshiach, Yeshua. Yovsen and many are beginning to recognize the truth of his humanity, his Ethiopian, his blackness. And it was just the racial, the, the correct racial identity. That's very important. Yovsen, because we are saved by grace through faith. And it's, it's not of ourselves. Yovsen, so the fact that Yeshua HaMoshi is black, Yovsen, or Ethiopian, it's not of ourselves. It's, it's, just, it's just the truth, right? It's just the truth. All right, so anyway, let's let's move forward. So. This Torah reading constitutes Genesis chapter 28, verse 10, to Genesis chapter 32, verse 3. And we as uh, Hebrews, uh, Yehudawi, Ihud, in the diaspora, right, at, at, um, abroad, right, um, at, really at home and abroad, but we now in the diaspora, we read it um, in the seventh uh, uh, Sabbath after the Simchat Torah. Right, generally in November or December, and this is December first, right? So we're basically twenty days, right? With basically twenty days out or three um, Sabbath, Sanabatat, right? Three Shabbats from uh, December twenty first, uh, twenty twelve, right? Where they said the Mayan calendar, so forth. But more than the Mayan calendar, is what's happening in heaven. Right, and the fact that we are passing through the so-called dark rift, or, or or an area where it's um, as you say, deep or or dense. There's a lot of gravity. All right, um, and if one's spirituality is in the world, and not in Yeshua, not in Abba, not in the Father, not in the truth, then um, how can I say? It's almost like uh. It's like if you're on a spaceship, you know, like say if you're on a spaceship in outer space and there's no gravity there and you don't have your boots on, you know what I mean? You don't have your boots. So therefore you're floating around. You're floating around. You, you need to be grounded. This is our groundation. So come whatever may. You understand? It'll be what it be. Yehun, Yehun. Amen where amen. Yehoshim will be rooted and grounded in, in, in the spirit, right? In the soul. Right. And in our body, see, in, in our spirit, this is what prepares the way for our regeneration. Right. And this is what prepares the way for our um, for the resurrection body. In other words, you and this is key. This, this doesn't come by eye observation. You understand? It comes in spirit and in truth. So this part of Shah, this portion tells of Ya'ikob's travels. You know, there's a psalm that says that the Lord loves the, pl loves the dwelling places, um, loves Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob, right? Loves Zion more than all the dwellings. So now we're going to, we've been studying, we're studying about the dwelling places of Ya'ikob, his travels to, his life in, and his return from Karan or Haran. Now the Parsha, this portion, this kufl, it recounts Jacob's dream. Remember, Jacob had a dream of a ladder i think this is significant of a ladder jacob's ladder to heaven jacob's ladder to the Samai, the Samayat. now jacob also he meets um he meets with rachel right rachel at the well right he meets with jacob i mean with, with jacob meets with rachel at the well it kind of reminds me of yeshua meeting with the woman of samaria in in a, in a sense you understand when we look at the the Old Testament being the, 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 the shadow and the New Testament being the substance, right? Or the Old Testament being the New Testament concealed and the New Testament being the Old Testament revealed. So Jacob also, he, he spends time working for Laban and living with uh, Rachel or Rachel and uh, Leah, Rachel and Leah. And we've touched on that in a little more expansion 
I think we might actually upload that because we finished editing it first um, previously. And um, <clears throat> what we're speaking about there is, I think, uh, uh, the nation of gods and, and earths, um, uh, as well as uh, what Elijah Muhammad talk about, well, uh, Jacob, he made the white man and...